Hey guys, it's Eliana here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you guys the Chateau Leviat's um, wine look tints. Chateau Leviat, yeah, I think that's what it's called. And I've been waiting a long time to get my hands off these, but they're just like so expensive to get like a full set. I went on Wish recently and I found it for only $9. The packaging is so cute. Like, that's why I like, fell in love with these. That's part, part, part of the reason why I wanted these. How cute this is. description on the box is the long wearing tint dyes the lips with a bold yet delicate color that resembles quality wine while moisturizing the lips. The directions are to take an appropriate amount and apply on the lips using the applicator starting from the inner lip to the outer lip. So it kind of sounds like they're asking for a gradient lip, which I'm not good at applying, but bear with me for the video. But before we begin, please like this video and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. First color I'm doing is PK01. As you can see, this is really great. I'm not good at gradients, obviously, but um, the first impression is that I don't really like this formula that much. It's just that, I mean, I moisturize my lips and scrub them before I put it on, but it's still like, it shows up unevenly. I don't like that, but I like the color. Even though it's kind of bright. Try to see how it looks as like a full lip. Um, I don't think it looks terrible, but I kind of feel like I look clownish when it's like fully applied to my lips and it's really sticky and it's really dry and bad which I don't like and even though the description says that it would moisturize your lips I don't think it does I feel like my lips would be very like like drying out if I didn't already put moisturizer yeah, I don't like how sticky it is. It's like kind of gross. The second color is CR01. And it's kind of corally. Yeah, I like this. If, I think if someone was like fair skinned, this could be a really good mood for them. And I'm honestly just not gonna apply a full amount like I did last time just because I know it will look terrible. The next color is OR01. So far, this is my favorite one. Yeah, I like this color a lot. So yeah, this would look actually pretty good on my uh, complexion similar to mine. Um, yeah, let's see how it actually looks with more coverage. This color is just perfect for the summer, it's super bold and vibrant. So far this is one of my favorites. The next color is RD01. So 
so this color is really cute. Um, I feel like the darker the colors are, the better they're looking, obviously, because I'm a deeper skin tone. And yeah, this is like, I guess, like an, a red, like your just standard red. And since these are lip tints, I really don't think you're supposed to do a full application. You're kind of supposed to blot it so it can like stain your lips. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do that anyways. The formula feels different on this one. It's definitely mattifying, but it feels less sticky. The next color I have is RDO2. I don't know why that won't focus. Okay, well, whatever. Pink's my favorite color. I already know I'm gonna like this a lot. I need you to behave. Does your dog have issues, guys? I think it's because he's spoiled. He can't, like, not have a picture. And I know you guys are always like, oh my gosh, she can't do a gradient lip. I don't know how to do a gradient lip. I was literally looking at videos before I shot this. Before I was planning to shoot this on like how to do gradient lip. So don't freaking throw shots at me. And I'll get there. You guys will see me get there. So far, this is my favorite color. So I love pink. Pink's my favorite color. Um, now I'm gonna put on the full amount. Yeah, this is my favorite color. You guys are actually gonna see me rocking this color a lot. I just hate how sticky these are, but I think it's because I'm also applying this like lipstick, and this is not lipstick, it's a lip tint. The next one is RD03. So this is more of like a pinky violet color, which I like. I obviously like the darker colors because they look better on my skin tone. Now for the full lip. It's really strange because so I feel like for the darker colors are just easier to put on. Like it's as if the formula changes. So, do I think um, if you have a deeper skin tone, should you buy all of these? No, I don't think for the first two you should. I mean, a lip liner could maybe save you, but I feel like if you're like way darker than me, then those first two colors are gonna just be a no. I feel like those colors are not compatible with deeper skin tones. Yeah, for the other four colors, I think that anyone should get. I mean, I don't know how some people feel about orange, but um, these three would be good for anybody. These are just like good colors to have in general. Yeah, I mean, never mind. Maybe not the RDO2, the hot pink. And I got my set again on Wish for only nine dollars. I know Wish is kind of like sketchy. It's kind of like the eBay of online online ordering. But I know like my sister has just gotten only one of these for a dollar. I'll put it in the description like the other options where you can get this wine lip tint set. All right, guys, please make sure you tell me what you think of these wine lip tints. There's more of these wine-like collections, so if you have those and you have suggestions for me, please feel free to comment below. 
also thank you for watching please make sure to like this video and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time